It's time to start planning and preparing for the fall season. Join me today in the garden. Hey guys, welcome to Horticulture Geek. Thank you so much for joining me today here on the channel. Um, and today I'm working on a very special project in the garden. Um, we are gonna start working on our fall prep. Now, um, it is middle of August right now, so it is a perfect time to be start thinking about and working on your fall prep. And today, I am gonna be making my own custom ready refill container pots. Um, so what is a ready refill container pot? Some of you probably instantly know what that is. Um, if you shop at big box stores and even some garden centers um, do these, um, if you go in, it is a mixed potted container of different plants that is potted up into a bigger container so that all you have to do is take this grouping of plants and plop it into your container at home. So it's a ready refill container mix. Um, but I'm gonna be making my own ready refill container mix today for the fall. And I'm doing it with plants that are currently gar starting to get marked down from garden centers and big box stores because they're part of the summer collection and they're trying to make room for their fall collection. So how do we make our own ready refill pot? Um, well, obviously you need a pot. So today I'm gonna be using a recycled pot um, this is like a large um, hanging basket style planter, um, but any, any large pot will do as long as it is not bigger than your container, okay? So I've got a couple containers in my front yard that I'm gonna be preparing for fall. And so I've got several plant selections here today that I've picked up and I'm gonna be marrying all those plants together into my two containers so that I can create my own refill pots. Now, why do I wanna do this? What is the benefit of doing this? Well, I am picking up small annual size containers. Here, let me just grab one and show you, okay? So this is a proven winner, Superbina Lilac. Um, and this one has been sheared back. Um, it was on the clearance table. This was 50% off at one of my local garden centers. Um, not traditionally a plant you would think of for fall, but it's a small size. Purple is a wonderful fall color, and I've picked up several things that are gonna go with it. But the thing is, is that I wanna take this and the other plants that I've picked up, and I'm gonna put them all together in an arrangement in a pot that's easily discarded later so that I can heavily feed them, fertilize them, get them to bulk up, grow, and be a beautiful fall display. So the instant I'm ready to take my summer display out of my containers at the front, I've got a fall display instantly ready to put back into that container. And I've done it myself and I've saved a lot of money because I bought these plants small and cheap and grew them on. So a ready refill container like this, like if you go to Lowe's, um, typically a ready refill container pot like this is like $24.99. Um, so somewhere around in there, garden centers, I think are charged more for them. So this is a really good economical way for you to go ahead and do some fall prep in your garden. Let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what we're working with today. Okay, so here we are. Um, and as you can see, I have picked up some purple fountain grass. So purple is going to be my theme in these particular containers. Um, this fountain grass, again, is just in a small annual size container, but it has some really good growth on it thus far. And I grabbed two of those. Then you've already seen the Superbina right there, okay? So the purple in the Superbina will play off the purple in the purple fountain grass. Next, I have picked up these two coleus. And let me just grab the tag here. This is called Alabama coleus, okay? Um, but again, it's a small container that's easily gonna fit into my pot, and there's plenty of time for this to put on some growth. 
And again, if you'll notice, this is just kissed by the slightest little purpley burgundy look, but it plays really well with the purple fountain grass and with the purple superbina. Then I have a euphorbia. This is Ascot Rainbow Euphorbia. Let me show you that tag there. Now, this Ascot Rainbow is a nice variegated leaf, but if you look at it, it's got purple, reddish purple stems, and there are reddish purple veins that shoot out through the variegated leaves as well. So again, it looks really nice with these plants. So I am gonna be putting two containers together. Um, and you can see my two containers don't necessarily match. They don't have to do that. They just have to be similar size. I'm also gonna be using a really good potting mix. I'm gonna be using my Biotone starter fertilizer to give these roots a good kickstart into their new soil. And I'm also gonna be putting in some garden tone, uh, just a generic good um, fertilizer that will help the plants stimulate their top growth as well because I want these plants to not only bulk up and fill the roots of the pot, but I want them to bulk up and put on some growth so that they are nice, full, lush containers when we're ready for fall. All right, let me turn the camera around and we're gonna get to work. Okay, so I think I've got you where you can see me pretty well. So I've just got an old bucket, just a generic old bucket so I can mix my soil and I've got my scooper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-mix my potting soil, my biotone starter fertilizer, and my garden tone. So let me do that. Okay, so now that I've got my soil mixed up, I'm just gonna start filling up a base layer into my container. Now remember, this can be any container that you want, um, but the whole point of this is, is that your nice containers should probably be already full with beautiful things right now for the summer season. So hang on to your old plastic pots like this. If you've bought ready refill containers from the store in the past, hang on to those pots. But just any nice big pot will do. So I'm just filling it up a little bit with some of my good soil here, and then I can start nesting my plants down in. Okay, first pot is done. <clears throat> so let's take a look here. So I've got my uh, purple fountain grass. I've got my coleus. I've got my superbina. And I've got my euphorbia. And then if you'll notice right here, I'm sure some of you are probably like, what in the world? That pot right there is a placeholder, okay? Okay, so that is a placeholder. So what I did is I just took the pot off of my superbina and I planted the empty pot as if it was a plant. 
And what I will do is when I get ready to actually put this display into the fall garden, I will pop a mum, a fall mum, this size container down into that hole because it's way too early to deal with mums now for me. Um, here, down south, central Arkansas, where I am, it's way too hot. Stores have them on display, but typically people are putting them inside. It's, it's too early for them for fall. They're gonna be bloomed out and dead by the time fall gets here, by the time you know Halloween, Thanksgiving, and all that are here. Um, it's too much. So this container that, that I buried in here, this is literally just a placeholder to hold a mum in the future. So now I've got my ready refill ready to go. All I have to do is water it in. I'll give it regular weekly fertilizing, just like I would all my other annuals. And by the time fall hits, this thing is gonna be hopefully big, beautiful and lush and look amazing in the garden. All right, let me do the second one. Here we go. All right, guys, so here we are. I've got the two fall containers ready to go. Um, so again, this is a great idea, and I hope you have found it interesting. Um, hopefully you can use this idea. But like I said earlier, now is a great time to go out into your garden centers and big box stores and see what things that they've had out there on the tables for the summer season that will work for fall, will work for the color styles you're going for, whatever, for your fall decor. Go ahead and snatch those things up now on sale, and then you can pot them up larger and have beautiful fall containers ready to go. Now, all of these plants are um, frost, will be killed by frost. So these containers will not last through the frost for me. So at first frost, these will be done. But here for me in central Arkansas, when we get ready to switch our put our fall displays up, um, we still have weeks and weeks before um, first frost really hits us. Um, and a container like this, um, where I'm gonna put these um, on my front porch, if I protect these or cover these up or pull them inside during first frost, they'll be just fine. These plants can handle a little cold, they just can't handle frost. So that's something to keep in mind too. Um, if you live in an area where your frost comes early and it comes hard, you know, but in that situation, any fall container is probably gonna be hard for you. But just get out there and see what you can do and make your own ready refill containers. Um, every single one of these plants that I put into this display today um, was 50% off except for the Euphorbia. The Euphorbia was 75% off. It was, I found it at a different garden center. And so that garden center had 75% off of their, um, some of their summer stuff. So 50, 75% off, you can't beat it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it has inspired you to get out and do your own ready refill containers and start dreaming and planning for your fall garden. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I would love to hear what you have to say or what ideas you have. And if for some reason you haven't subscribed to Horticulture Geek, go ahead and hit that subscription button and ring that bell. I sure would appreciate it. And it'll let you know every time we post a new video. 
because you never know what we're gonna get up to around here or what ideas we might bring to you or where we might visit. So come along for the journey and see what we get up to here at the Horticulture Geek Gardens. Until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.